This Samsung clothes dryer has stopped blowing hot and it won't dry the clothes anymore. Now there are five main causes why your clothes dryer is not blowing hot and it's not drying your clothes. Cause number one for your dryer not blowing hot anymore and drying your clothes. And this doesn't even have anything to do with the dryer itself. You gotta check your ducting system that goes up and out to the vent up on the roof. If it's clogged, all of the hot moist air gets trapped back into the dryer where it can overheat components and cause them to fail. So at least once per year, you need to get in there and stick that brush up the wall there and you need to clean out your exhaust system for the dryer all the way up to the roof. So you're gonna turn that inside the wall. Remember, make sure your drill is set to clockwise only. And you also need to get up to the roof and you need to check that vent up there and make sure that when the dryer is on that you feel the hot air coming out of there. You should feel it blowing on your hand. And if you don't, then something is wrong. And stick your vacuum hose inside your dryer and clean out all of that as well. Okay, so now when we come up onto the roof, and we put our hand under the vent. This is the gooseneck vent up on the roof where the dryer exhaust comes out and you can feel it just gushing. Nice, warm, moist air. And you should also check all of your ducting here, like behind the dryer, going from the dryer to the wall. Make sure this is nice and clean too. Now here's something you need to see. This is at our friend Tina's house. She called me and said her dryer wasn't drying her clothes. So I went over there and I vacuumed out her whole dryer duct system. And then I vacuumed out inside the wall all the way out to the vent outside. And look how much lint we pulled out of there enough to fill half of a trash can and that was what was preventing her dryer from working as soon as we cleaned this out she was running perfectly smooth again and a very happy camper so root cause number two for your clothes dryer not getting hot is the heating element folks this is what a heating element looks like it's basically a big old spring and what happens when the heating element fails is this will just break somewhere in the middle of the spring now in this samsung dryer they tend to break in the same spot for whatever reason. We did a video on how to repair this. So if you want details on how to diagnose and repair and replace your heating element in your Samsung dryer, I have a link to a video we did down in the video description below. And if you wanna wait till the end of the video, we also have it in the end screen. If you have one of the older Whirlpool Duet dryers, it's very simple. They just have three screws that you have to undo down at the bottom of the dryer on the front to remove the front kick plate there and the heaters right there. With the Samsungs and some of the other ones, it's a little Little bit more complex. What you have to do is remove this top panel, this guy, and the whole front panel. But it, it's a five minute job if you know what you're doing. And we'll show you that in that other video as well. So the only tool that I need to open up the dryer is this small stubby Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, now the one thing you must do always, always, always before you work on your dryer, folks, is unplug that dryer because you're talking 240 volts. This is no messing around. You might survive a 120 volt shock, but you won't survive a 240 most likely. <laughs> This right here is where your entire clothes dryer heating element enclosure is. So what we have to do is unscrew these two screws here and then reach way around in the back to the other end of this bracket, six inches back. There's two more screws back there. This video is saving you money and you don't have to spend a couple of hundred dollars now on an appliance repair person. There's a heart down at the bottom of the video player and it says thanks on it, little super chat. You can click that and donate a few dollars to the channel. That's what helps us continue to produce great content like this. It helps more and more of you folks out. So thanks for supporting our channel in that manner. Root cause number three for your dryer not heating up. And here I have the entire heating element apparatus. This is the housing that I've pulled out. And this is your number three right here. So this is our high temp cutoff thermistor. And this has the job of preventing the dryer from overheating. So if it senses more than 160 degrees Celsius of temperature coming out of the heater, it'll just cut power to the heating element. It won't turn off the dryer. The dryer will keep spinning, it just won't be going cold. And that's the problem that you're looking at. You have no heat. Either your heating element has gone or your high temp cutoff thermistor has gone. Okay, now one thing I need to warn you about when you go to buy this replacement high temp cutoff thermistor, it comes two ways. It comes already on the bracket like this, which you see it on the housing here. And many places will sell it like this as just the single part. Do not buy it as the single part. Why? Because if you look and see here, it has to be riveted onto the bracket before you can attach it. And I know you don't have a rivet gun, do you? Make sure when you buy it, and I have the links to all of these parts down in the description below for you. Make sure you buy the part where the thermistor is already riveted to a bracket. That way you can just take this bracket and insert it right here on the housing. And then while we're here, let's bring up root cause number four, because this is it right here. This is your high limit thermostat. 
So this, what this does is it monitors the temperature in the heater unit right here. And as it gets higher, it increases in resistance and it actually can control the, how much power it goes to the heating element. It keeps the heating element from getting too hot. It'll drop back down in temperature and then it floats back up again. This guy does his job, gives it feedback and big feedback cycle. Okay, root cause number five for your dryer, not blowing hot air and drying your clothes. And that would be the thermal fuse. And it takes on many forms. It could look like this and it's usually located in the back of your dryer down at the bottom usually attached to the blower mechanism it's a little bit harder to get at but nine times out of ten that's not going to be your problem and by the way watch watch out for people that, that think they know how to debug your dryer when you tell them hey my dryer is not blowing hot what do I do the first thing that comes out of everybody's mouth is always oh it's got to be the thermal fuse well guess what the thermal fuse cuts power to your dryer so if that blows because the temperature is way too high inside the cabinet, you're not going to have any power. Your dryer is not going to turn on at all, folks. So if your dryer is turning on, but you have no heat, it is not the thermal fuse. You got it? Not the thermal fuse. It is one of these three guys. It's either your heating element, the thermostat, or the thermistor. So now you're probably wondering, Jeff, man, how did you figure out which one of these three it is? Or even if it is the thermal fuse. So in actuality, it's a lot simpler. All you have to know is three things right here. So you have to have a digital multimeter set to ohms, which is measuring the resistance. Normally when your leads are not connected, it's going to say OL or maybe some super high mega ohms of resistance. When you touch them, it'll drop down to almost zero. It'll be like 0.2 ohms. So now when we go to test this thermistor, this high temp cutoff, this needs to have continuity. Let's see what we've got. It says OL, oh well. see it didn't change. So I know that this guy's already blown open, so we have to change him. Here's his replacement right there. And if we check him across his leads, see it drops to 0.4, that's where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a switch. Remember, this, this high temp cutoff is really a switch. It's a normally closed switch is what we call it, NC, normally closed switch. Now let's go check the thermostat. He's got continuity also, so he's doing fine. But just because he has continuity now doesn't mean that he's working correctly. What happens when he gets up to temperature? Does something different happen? So we're going to have to take that with a grain of salt. And then we're going to measure here the continuity of the heater element. And you can see that should always come in at about 10 ohms. See how it says 9.9 .9 ohms? So you see how it winds around on the spring and everything that goes all the way around it on both sides that adds up to about 10 ohms of resistance so you're never going to see a short and you probably shouldn't see a short but one thing you shouldn't see is like what what's on the screen right now you should never see ol when you touch your leads to it but there we go so we know the heater element is working fine but nine times out of ten you get this out of the dryer and within two seconds you're going to put this on there and go oh heating elements bad or you'll find this guy bad but I'm always leery about just changing the cutoff thermistor here because why did he go bad in the first place? And if you're having problems where it's continuously tripping, it's likely because this is not doing its job in telling the heating element to come back to the lower temperature. And so you're getting a runaway train here. You're getting a runaway temperatures getting up too high. And when they get too high, they're po probably blowing this thermistor right here. So in our case today, I want to replace this and this. I want to replace the thermistor and the thermostat. The heating element is fine. Well, as you can see, this dryer is blowing hot once more. And thank you so much for joining us today, folks. I hope this video helped you out, and we'll see you on the next one.